like, what are you doing? I'm sorry, I'm testing out my Metal Gear. This looks so clean. Now let me pull this up again. I want to pull up this tweet that was made where the person made the Metal Gear Rex, and I'm going to try to replicate this. This is you ran 120's design. Is this person's name? Okay, so how do I start this out? I guess. Let me see. I'll use both of my monitors. So it looks like it starts in the very bottom with two stakes. Put this in the ground. Good luck building this. Can't wait to see how it comes out. Thank you very much. All right, let's drop this. Let's raise this a little more, too. Because they have to obviously be even levels. That seems good. Okay. Now we got to bring the cooking pots over here. And it looks like it's on a hinge. Oh no, maybe I need to put two cooking pots together. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's that seems right. I think I have to do this. I think I gotta use two, unfortunately. The nice thing is I have a lot of these, so I'm not really too worried. I need to go right in the middle. Can't be on the edge or anything like that. It's got to be right in the middle. No. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. There we go. One of these. And we're turning this over to this side. All the way down to the bottom. Perfect, that looks good. Take this one. Dude, if this turns out the way that I think it's gonna turn out, this is gonna look so unbelievably hype. All right. Oh, these are a little off. Wait a minute. Move this. I am very worried about these cooking pots being able to hold up the weight though, is the only thing. Because I think the person who created this Metal Gear first was really smart. Here we go, that's better. That's better, that's better. That's got the same kind of angle to it. Okay, that looks good. That actually looks really good. Maybe a little higher? Let's see. Put this here. How much damage is this completed mech gonna do to enemies? I have no idea. That's kind of half the fun of it, is trying to figure out exactly how well it will do. See, because that one looks like it's attached to the ground. That looks more even. That looks pretty even to me. Alright, I'm fine with that. I think that can work. Alright, now let me open this up again. and see what the next thing I would need is. It looks to me like two upside down small wheels that act as the hinges. What direction are those wheels going in? Looks like this. Let's see. Here we go. And these seem like they're attached. 
to the top of the steak or the top of the... I guess in our case would be a cooking pot. Like here. Okay. That looks good for now. Ooh, I don't know if that's going to hold is the only thing. I think I'll need a stabilizer. Oh, you know what? I should probably do that right now. Wait a minute. I'll get two stabilizers for the back. That might actually help us. Here we go. One stabilizer. Oh, no, that is definitely not going to work. Well, unless, hold on, let's hit it. Nope, that's not going to work. Maybe it's got to be on the top of the wheel? Put this back up. Maybe we don't really need it as a hinge. Maybe we just attach it straight up like that. Oh, wait a minute! Frame blast. That is what we should do. I need to move it a little more, though. No. Hope Ray and Obi are doing great. They're doing fantastic. Reagan's working on a cosplay for Anime Expo. Obi's chilling. good put these behind here oh see now that I'm seeing these together this one's a little uneven there we go there we go there we go that looks perfect now great so then I guess what I have to do here is turn these kind of upside down. Like this. It's the only thing is the top of the pot kind of flips a little. Huh. Maybe I flip the pots over and use the base instead? Oh, I just screwed a bunch of stuff up. Hold on. Let me see. I think that might have to be what I need to do. Let's attach these both and let's flip them. Oh yeah, that even looks like a robot foot, doesn't it? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Flip these over. Oh, this is actually a really good place to line it up because I could see exactly where things are. Wait a minute. I could do it on just the other side. Okay, very good. Now these parts are upside down, so now let's see if let's see if this just stays. Okay, that's fine. 
This can work for sure. Oh, this can definitely work. That'll work! That'll work! It's stable! We're good! We got one leg! This will work! Oh, good, 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 good! We're cooking! We're cooking now! This is good! It took a while to get there, but we're good! Okay, next one. Next one, we move this. I need to leave room here. Actually, you know what I'm going to drop right now, too? I'm going to drop one of those hover stones. So I see exactly how much room is needed on the in-between. Because there'll be another leg. Okay, so honestly, this is actually a little far out right now. So I need to move the stake in a little bit. Okay. Good stuff, good. Good, good, good. Am I gonna do a playthrough of Fire Emblem GBA? Probably not. I'll probably enjoy it on my own. I am very, very happy it's on Switch Online though. Looks really good. But I have to reattach these. Very good. All right, it's going to give a little mobility for the legs. Then now, let's see, I've got. Two more of these wheels that I have to put on, on the opposite sides. Okay. Well, up into the side a little bit, actually. Yeah, like this, perfect. This one over a little bit more. There we are. Make it even. Nope, nope, that's not gonna work. Oh shoot. Oh, okay. Let's see. I don't know why that one's at a slight angle. No. A little more. Okay, that's better. But now I have to move everything around. Wait. Okay. Okay, good, 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 good. We've got the legs. We've got the legs. We're looking good. Will you be playing Final Fantasy when it releases? Yes, I am. You know what? I think I'm going to move this in a little bit. I don't think I've really made it to a live stream before, but I watch your channel all the time. Well, welcome! 
I never did any crazy building, I just played the game normally. I think most people probably just play the game normally. But I wanted to do at least one crazy build. Like, live on stream. And this just felt like the exact right one. Yeah, this seems... better. I guess, hold on, since this leg looks so good, hold on. Can I not just go to history? Which is this, this is the most recent one, click this, and then just make that again using these pieces? Here we go, nice! So then it's exactly the same. Great. I don't know why I didn't think of doing that before. And then I could just mirror it. There we go. Right? Because then we know at least, at the very least, it'll be even. Okay. So now all those are there. That looks cool. I like that. Okay. up into the side a little more. Actually, no, because I really... That's maybe too far. What I need to do is put one that's straight down. Let me see. This is really a tough build. Let's go, hey, Mike's in here. Welcome, Mike. We are currently doing a build of Metal Gear Rex. Okay, that looks good. That looks right. Okay, okay. We're getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere. Things are looking good. We are getting somewhere. This is good. I'm glad that I duplicated because now the legs will at least be even. Oh, I think I got to move. Wait a minute. I think I got to move one of these. Wait. Move this over here. Put this right here. Auto build again, history. This one. Build everything, come on. There we go. Do the double flip. Build it. Grab it. No, 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 no. Let's see, down a little bit. How much left is to your build? Uh, I mean, we're just doing the legs right now, so we got a while to go. Okay, there we go. Ah, shoot, it's still angled a little. Well, hold on a minute. This might not be the worst thing in the world. Because then it'll give it a little... 
Let's see. Turn it a little bit, make it exactly even. Okay. Good! Good, 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 good! It's working! It's working! I cannot believe it's working! It's working! Okay, this is good, this is good, this is good, this is looking good. Okay, nothing's falling apart, it looks good. Unbelievably, I cannot believe it looks this good. Okay, I can work with this. I can definitely work with this. All right, now we need another leg. And then I think, hold on, let me look at the build. Yeah, I definitely, I need like a beak. Wow. I actually kind of like it with the two legs off on the side too, because it looks like it's mid walking. All right, this is, this is actually great. Okay, I can't believe that it doesn't break apart when I do that. That's unbelievable. <laughs> I love this. Okay, now what we're gonna do gonna use another small wheel to use for the beak and angle it a bit and up yep now let me see please don't break apart oh man <laughs> like rides up oh my god okay 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 that is dude if we summon this in the fight with ganondorf at the end of the game we're gonna go viral man because i can easily auto build this with stuff that i've got okay now 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 what is the next thing i need to activate I think it's a cart. I think it's an upside down cart. So let's see. Is there a cart over here we can use? There is. We're good. Okay. That looks good. Just don't break. Let's test again. Fire. Fire, 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 fire. Those steaks and cooking pots honestly work. How close do you think is, uh, are you to Ganon time? I think I don't have much left. I think I just have like the fifth temple area and Ganondorf. I think that's it. I mean, like, I think the next stream I'll be able to beat him. All right. This is looking good. Cart's upside down. Fantastic. So now, how do I attach this weaponry? How did this person do it? Looks like an upside down homing device. It's like off to the side. I can't get over how good that looks. It's got the eyes of the Rex and everything. How many side adventures have you done? Oh, quite a bit. Um, all right. Let's put this on there. So now we need a homing device. Because this is going to be the thing that actually lets it attack. Homing device. Do I have any right now? I do. Homing cart. And then it looks like on the build that someone did for this, they put it... Oh no, there's two carts. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, it's a homing device and another homing device. Oh, so they built the gun separate. Okay, hold on. I'll start with the easier part then. I'm gonna start with the fan part. Is there a fan over here? There is. Looks more like an at-at than a walker from Metal Gear at the moment. Believe me, it won't by the end of it. Not when we're done. So we're making its radar dish. 
Alright, let's see. Please don't break apart. Yes, 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 yes. Awesome. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be so cool. This is going to be so cool. Okay. This is pretty much set now. Get my arrows back. Yeah, the radar dish looks awesome. Dude, I cannot get over how sick that is. All right. Homing device. I think we need to make the, the gun separately over here. Because I worry that if we don't make the gun separately and then attach it, the whole thing is going to get messed up. So the gun looks like it's two homing devices together. A small wheel. Yeah, it's like a homing device going forward and a homing device on its other side. Okay. Homing device. Okay. So if that's forward, this is down, like here. Okay. Oh, I see what he did. I see what he did. Okay. Let's attach that there. I do worry that's not even, though. Yeah, it's not. Wait, let me put it on the flat ground. Try to make it even. Yes, because then this will add the extra little... Mm, I don't know, actually. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. If I mount this gun... Oh, no. See, I think I did it wrong. I think I did it wrong. I think it's supposed... Oh, no. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Right, because this will attach here. Let me test this. Okay, good. Good, good, good. We're good. This might need to be a little higher, though, is the only thing. Oh, oh, I just screwed it up. I moved things around. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. No, we're fine. Okay. Good, that evens it out. Test again. Great. I cannot get over how sick this looks. Okay, let's try detaching this. Moving this down slightly. Gives it more of a Metal Gear Rex feel. There's the eyeballs of the cart. There's the homing device. That's what we're gonna use to mount the gun. So now for the gun, we're going to make, uh, see this guy uses a small wheel, but I feel like it might be better to use another homing device. Hmm. I'm going to, I'm going to test it the way that he made it. And I have plenty of small wheels, so. I feel like I don't want to mess with something that's already a good thing. Okay. Now, how the heck did he make the, the gun? Oh, he put it on the front of it. Okay, 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 okay. So, like this. I see. All right, try this again. Fire. <laughs> so cool. I cannot get over how cool this is. Okay, okay, okay. We got that now. We're good. We're good. And I love now that we built so much of it that even if something breaks now, we can always auto build and go right. Oh my God, dude. We're going to have an auto build schematic for a Metal Gear Rex by the end of this. Wow. Okay. Here we go. This is I this is so cool. This is easily the coolest thing we've built. Okay. So now we're going to use this for the railgun. 
So we're going to attach two of these together. We're going to move them vertically. Whoops. Okay. Okay. Fantastic. Make it even. And then now for this, what are we attaching? A shock emitter and a flame emit emitter? It looks like he put a cannon on the top and a, a shock emitter on the bottom. Okay, so let's try this. Cannon and shock emitter, which gives it that really cool, like, robotic look. <laughs> Gonna turn it on its side. A little more. There we go. Because again, this thing is gonna be mounted where the top portion, oh, here. You know what, it might be easier to put the cannon on first. Let's put the cannon on first. Cannon seems easy enough, like this. Boom. This goes on the bottom, like so. And then... Okay, moment of truth. Let's see if this works. might be too far back at this point. Oh no, maybe not. I can't attach anymore! No! What do I, okay, how, what do I have to take off? We're so close. Yeah, let's try this. I might have to take off one of the homing carts for stability. Oh yeah, so see, it lets me attach this. Oh my god, dude! Oh, <laughs> oh man! Okay. Okay, I think I do need to remove one of the homing carts then. I think that's gonna be what it ends up being. Oh my gosh, dude, look at how sick that looks. I'm still in a dream, snake eater. All right, wait, 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 wait. But we gotta have the cannon on it. If we don't have the cannon on it, like, what's the point of even doing this? We have to have the. So I want to see. Hold on. Will it allow me to attach? It will. Dude! 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 Oh my gosh! Okay, we're so close, but we need the shock emitter. We need the extra, we need the extra thing for Flair. So yeah, I, I don't think I need the other, I don't think I need this other thing. I think I could remove this part. Okay, wait, 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 this is amazing. All right. Let's remove this. Let's attach the gun. To here. Oh, dude, yes! Yes! Yes, 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 this is it. Yes. I'm gonna attach this gun again. I'm gonna move it like here, so it's off to the side a little bit. Yes, this is it. We figured it out, we figured it out. Oh, we're so close! Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Don't fall apart. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, it's coming together. It's coming together. All right. Now all we need is the little shock thing. Or maybe like a beam emitter. 
I think the shock thing's probably better because it looks cool that way. Let's see. All right. All right. Let me move these stabilizers out of the way. Because I don't think I can attach anything else to here, can I? Oh, no. It's letting me. It's letting me. Well, at the very least, hold on. Let's take this out of here. Move this other homing cart. Because if the homing cart's attached to the cannon, I feel like it'll, it'll work anyway. All right. Let's see. The beam, I think, would be a sick addition. I agree. Move this stuff out of the way. All right. <laughs> At the very least, even if even though I can't add more to it, I know I can add one more thing, but even if I couldn't, this is incredible. This looks absolutely incredible. All right, activate. <laughs> oh, dude. 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 Oh, man. Wow, 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 wow. And actually, I think... Adding the cooking pots instead of the the little treasure chest was brilliant because it makes it like lean a little bit and it makes it more stable. Oh my gosh, okay. I, this is so cool. This is so cool. And then the nice thing is having the stakes on the bottom the way we have them allows us to create this pretty much anywhere and to like move it around without it breaking. Like look, I can move this over here if I wanted. Drop it, activate, and boom, off it goes. <laughs> oh my god, dude! Okay, 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 wait, 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 wait. Let's move this here. Deactivate. Wow, 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 wow. All right, we have to add the beam. I feel like we have to add the beam. The beam is gonna be wild. All right, let's see. Yeah, it's not going to stand a chance against you. And Tanuki said, what's the Zonite cost? Yo, don't worry about it. It doesn't matter what the cost is. This, this right here is priceless. This is priceless. To make a working Metal Gear Rex that then is able to stand on its own with the stakes, it's fire. Zonite cost doesn't matter at this point. All right, let's add a beam emitter to it. Or maybe another cannon. Beam emitter, here we go. Cause I could add this as like the hinge to the to the back of this. And it might even make it a little more stable. Cause the beam emitter goes forward, right? It comes out of the, the horn of the unicorn thing. If I put the beam emitter here, I can't attach anymore. Okay. But it says I can. Wait a minute. Oh no, maybe I can't. Oh no, we're good, we're done. Okay, it has to be this. I think if we were using the treasure chests instead of the cooking pots, we'd be able to put one more weapon on it. But as it stands right now, it's literally telling us we cannot put anything else on this Metal Gear Rex. But that's fine, because it looks perfect. Again, I could move this around, put it in different locations, and literally just plant the thing safely on the ground. and activate it, and we're good to go, and it doesn't break. It's unbelievable. Okay, so now, good question, because Tanuki brought this up. Let's see what the Zonite cost of this thing is. Because I'm assuming it's gonna be a lot, if we want to make another one. History, oh my god, dude, look at this. <laughs> Setting that as a favorite right here. Oh my gosh. Okay. Go to our favorites. I can't believe we actually have a Metal Gear Rex that we could just build at any given time. 63. That is not bad. All things considered. To build a Metal Gear Rex from scratch, it costs 63 Zonite. Well worth it. Lock it down. Dude, that's awesome! That is so 
sick. We can build a Metal Gear Rex anywhere. 63 is not bad at all. That is really not bad at all to have this giant mechanized Metal Gear Rex replica that fires off cannon shots and beam emitters and shock emitters. 63 is nothing. Well worth it. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> really? I can't believe we were able to replicate this. Shout out again to you ran 120 for coming up with this initial design and posting it to Twitter. Again, we moved a couple things around to make it a little more stable. Instead of using the little treasure chests, we put cooking pots instead. Um, and that's the reason why we don't have the extra additional thing holding down the rail gun. But it's fine. I mean, it, it looks perfect as is. I don't think we even really need that. And again, I much prefer having the cooking pots to the treasure chests because the cooking pots, the, the torque on the actual pot itself allows the thing to move to the side a little bit. Whereas I think unless it was angled just right with the treasure chests, it would just, it would fall over if I didn't place it just right. Absolutely incredible. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I'm really blown away. This is so cool. Thank you, by the way, to Zelda Gamer for following and everyone else. This is a masterpiece right here. Let's see. Hold on. We have the Gerudo over here. Let's try this. And, oh, dude, the, and the stability of having the cooking pots on either side so it looks like the thing is moving and then the steaks don't ruin it. Hold on. Like, let's try this. Like, right now, there's people in this house, right? <laughs> oh, my gosh, dude. <laughs> the fact that it works like this is absolutely amazing. Metal Gear Rex is coming through for us. <laughs> They're like, what are you doing? I'm sorry, I'm testing out my Metal Gear. This looks so clean. Oh my gosh. Let's go self-portrait mode. Here, I'll, I'll stand up a little higher. Hold on. First, I'm going to take an image of it by itself, because that looks so sick. And then I'm going to do a self-portrait. How do you do the different poses again in self-portrait mode? I know there's a way to, to pose. No, hold on. Delete. There we go, there we go, there we go. Here, that's actually cool. All right, I'm gonna stand right here and then I'm gonna activate it again once the charges are back and then boom, I'll take a selfie. This, I just, I really can't get over how good it looks. This is an actual Metal Gear Rex in Zelda and it didn't really take us that long to build it either. I mean, realistically, this took like what, an hour to make this amazing thing? Not bad at all. A few moments later. 114 shrines, 110 light roots, 103 Korok seeds, 4,700 rupees. I probably need that stuff though. All right, let me light this up. Let's see if there's something over here, because there always is. Whoops, fused the wrong thing. Grab this mushroom too. I like the vibes of this island. A little xylophone music and stuff. What is this? Okay, I feel like I'm in the right place now because this looks like a giant ring. Open. Come on. Oh, this is like the Master Sword in the old game. Okay. Open this baby up. Hopefully I have enough hearts. This would be bad if I made it all the way here and then unfortunately I wasn't able to open it. No, we're good. We're good, thankfully. Okay, push it open, Link. You got this. All right. Examine. That looks like something from Skyward Sword, but I can't put my finger on it. It's like one of the ancient masks or something from Skyward Sword. 
Or no, I have to go back and look, but isn't there a thing where you, you can add like a snipe thing to your bow and arrow in Skyward Sword and it looks like that? All right, so it's leading me somewhere. Link, Zelda's chosen protector. Okay. Take this, follow the light. I love that I have my classic look too. My hero hat. All right, I will take this and follow the light. Where is this gonna lead me? Secret of the Ring Ruins completed. Okay, great. Guidance from ages past. All right, pick this up. Can I fuse it to something? Will it allow me to or no? Because I would rather not carry it all the way down there. I can't fuse it. Okay, I just got to carry it. Okay. Question is, where is it going to lead me? Oh, there's another little zone I think over here too. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Do I have any charges? I do. All right, let's see what's in this one. Give me something good, Gotcha Machine. What do you got for me? Anything brand new? Fans and steering sticks, that's fine. Let's see. So I'm assuming it wants me to fly off from here with the mask, which is easy enough. Wait, 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 don't take off just yet. Hold your horses. All right, let's fuse this to here. Let's put two rockets on the end. Whoop. Here we go. Do it this way. One. And then... Two. Put a fan on there as well. To keep us gliding through the sky. I should probably put three fans on here. One. Put it on either wing. Two. Okay. Another one, and then we got a steering stick. It just feels so wild that we're so close to the end of the game now. It's like we've been playing this nonstop for a month, and I've been loving every minute of it. And now we're actually towards the end, and I'm getting kind of sad. Like, obviously, I know I'll have extra stuff to do, but in terms of finishing the actual story, it makes me sad. All right. Let's see, can we just take off from here or did I put too much stuff on this? I think I might have. Oh no, we're good, we're good, we're good. Whee! All right. Let's fly down here. And the mask is pointing in this direction. Right. How, how did I just miss all of this before? I feel like there's a bunch of little Bokoblin areas over here. Like, what mountain is this on? Nekluda and Faron. I guess, yeah, I guess I never really did explore this area. I went to Luralin, obviously. And I, I went down the coast, but I guess, yeah, I never would have gone into this mountain. Okay. Let's make our way down. Boom. Now I'm assuming I have to put the mask on here. Yes? Okay, good, 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 good. Looks like a giant bird. OK. 
Okay. Lifting the fifth temple out of the ground? Is that what we're getting right now? I am very excited to see what this game's version of the Spirit Temple is going to be like. Because the Spirit Temple in Ocarina of Time is probably one of my all-time favorites. Okay. Down we go. Hey, Shannon's in here. Thank you, Shannon, for the subscription, Nakama. We got Eli in here, too, saying couldn't be happy to be here for uh, near the tail end of the game. As amazing as this experience has been, what awaits is perhaps the most epic of all. Have a blast, and thank you for bringing us all these delightful streams through Hyrule, man. Thank you very, very much. You guys are being so sweet today. I appreciate it. Tobio's Hollow Chasm. Okay. Boom. Drop it. I'm ready. What do you got for me? <laughs> I really just can't get over that we finally have a classic outfit. Like, I know it, it doesn't necessarily match. We don't have the full set. We have, like, the cap of the hero, but then we have the Hylian shirt. We have the Gators of the Depths that are brown. But I kind of like this. This feels more like what his outfit would look like in Breath of the Wild anyway. Zelda's chosen protector. Yes. You must hurry. We must meet as soon as possible. I'm on my way. You just tell me where to go. I'm heading over right now. I don't like the sign of this, though. I don't like that it's all just dark. And I can't see where I'm going. That's not necessarily my favorite thing. <laughs> I want to be able to know where I'm going. I don't want any gloom hands popping up. Okay. Thankfully, it's taking me to an area of the depths that I've been in already, which is good. Okay. Man, this mask really likes me carrying him around. All right. Whoops. Come on down here. Or I guess I need to... The Construct Factory. Oh, this is where they were made? Oh, cool! Oh, so... Is this... So are they going to call this the Spirit Temple? Because it's like the spirits that inhabit the constructs or something? This is cool. Do I have to build a robot or something? Because like arms and legs. I have to construct the construct? My name is Minoru. I, I know who you are. Of spirit. We watched all the dragon tears. Arrived. At last we can speak with each other. I like she's, that she's not being as cryptic as the other ones were though. I no longer have a body. Without a physical form. Oh, we gotta I make a body for her. Okay. But do you see the four storehouses in the area? Okay. I would ask you to visit each of them and assemble a body for me. All right. At least they're easy enough to find. They're glowing. This is my request to you, Link. Loyal swordsman to Zelda. I'm on it. Look, we built a Metal Gear already. I feel like if we can build a Metal Gear, we can build a body for her. All right. Where to first? I guess... I guess let's start with that one. All right. I'm going to go over here. Auto build. And let's make... I guess it should make something that could actually carry something, but this is just easier to get around. Here we go. All right, first one. Also, what is up with the giant dragon spine over here? At least they're all close. 
The Right Leg Depot. Okay. Make our way into here. Hit these fans. Whoops. Put my weapon again. Taking me on up to where I need to go. And I'm looking for the right leg. All right. Can I just ascend down in there? Exit. No, I don't think so. Okay, what is this? What does it want me to do? Maybe fix the line or something? I'm assuming it's got to be in there. Or maybe I have to move this? Hmm. Let's see, we got one of these. Let me see. All right, it's pushing the other ones down. do though. Let me see. Is there anything down there that I might have missed? Maybe? No? Or maybe I have to activate this first. Hold on. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I went too far. I see, I see, I see, I see. Okay. Oh. Okay. Grab this. Put this here. Hit this. Push us up. Now I'm assuming those things are magnets or something. Okay. I, I guess I just drag it? Let me see. Or actually, wait a minute. Wait a minute, what am I doing? I don't need to do any of this. Instead of carrying this thing all the way over here, I can move this up here. One, two, three, four, five. Move it a little higher. Okay. And then ascend. And then recall. And then we should be good to go, right? Recall? see there we go there we are perfect all right easy Whee! recall is awesome I gotta move it up a little higher now not a problem do this boom Push a little further up. And now I'm assuming this needs to power up another machine or something. Okay, interesting. It. There we are. And 
then I'm assuming I could just climb this. Oh, unless this is the leg. Wait a minute. I thought this would power up the thing that would give me the leg. But I think this might actually be the leg. What's this? Zonite? Okay. Because now it's making me make one of those little glider things. So I feel like maybe this is the leg itself. Maybe I don't need anything else. Okay, well. Fine. But then again, like, we're not going that far, are we? We're going down here. Where is the spirit temple? Right here? Oh, it's, oh, it's over here. Wait a minute. It feels almost like it's too far, though, from where we were. Hmm, let me go back up here. Because instead of attaching this... Well, I guess the leg is inside. Oh! Okay. Let's go like this. Drop one of these. And another one of these. And then maybe take a third one of these. Can I take this one off? Shake it off? Maybe. I think I probably can. Oh yeah, I definitely can. There we are. Hit this. And then, just for safe measure, I really want to put the steering wheel on it. I don't know if that's going to be enough, though. I feel like that leg looks pretty heavy. I guess we're going to find out. Give me a steering wheel. Okay. And then, I guess it says to take it here, so. Whoops. Probably gotta move it over here a little bit. A little more. There we go. Nope, still not enough. Then why don't I just do this? Angle it off this one. There we go. Now it'll have to work, right? There we go. Alright, perfect. One down. And whoop, whoa, 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 careful, careful. Whoop, careful, careful. Move over here. Take this. Oh, there we go. I was like It's the right leg depot, right? Or I guess I could put it in either. Doesn't really matter. This is the one that's glowing, though, so I guess I'll put it in this one. Huh? Okay. Look, we're in there, man. Oh, I gotta flip it the other way. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. 
There we go. Nope. Not quite. What? So is the leg... Which part is the leg and which part is the foot? I assumed this was the, the right way. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. That's easy enough. That's one down. That's one. Bring the other three here as well. You got it. Okay. Now, where are we going next? Let's see. Oh, wait a minute. I realized I could do something. I'll do this. Here, let's go. Over here. Oh no! No! Okay, hold on, wait a minute. I made a mistake, I made a mistake. Let's actually just go in order. Instead of going all over the place, because then I'm gonna lose track of where I'm supposed to go. We're gonna go over here instead. I see the glow. All right, this is the next one. It's kind of cool that there's this construction temple in the depths. Then again, I stumbled on this area multiple times before, but I never realized that this was an actual dungeon. It's cool. It feels very much like what Nintendo wanted to do with Skyward Sword, where they mentioned that dungeons were just kind of there in the overworld, and you could stumble into them and solve puzzles and things like that. It's very cool, and very different. Okay, doors are closing. I gotta take it up there. Okay, easy enough. Here we go. Lift this on up over here. Rocket us away. Woohoo! Boom. Okay. Now what are we doing here? Oh. Again. Man, this one's a very easy one to cheese, though. I will say that. Because I could just go like this. Put this right here. That'll rocket that up. Boom. Exit. Shoot an arrow at it. Whoa! Careful, careful, careful. Where did it go? Where did it go? Uh-oh. I think I screwed up. Oh no, it's right here. <laughs> Great! Easy enough. And that'll let us take it out over here. Fantastic. Okay. Easy. <laughs> Drop it. Very good. Another one down. Okay. Yeah, it was like I could have attached it and gone a whole different way, but that was way easier. <laughs> I think I was supposed to launch it off at an angle and then do the little crank thing, but I didn't feel like it. <laughs> All right, break this open. And now I know the right way. Here we go. Oops. Hold on. Right as I said, yeah, I know the right way to do this. I screwed up. There we go. Perfect. Two down. Feeling good. Feeling very, very good. Both legs. Now I got two arms. And that's another part. Two, two left. left. Easy. 
All right. So then that one and that one. Easy enough. And we've got like a little waterfall over here. You can hear the extra choir in the background now too. We're hyping things up. Climb on through here. Look at all my hearts right now too. Okay. Left Arm Depot. Okay, crank that up. So this one I have to navigate some lava to get this arm over here. That should be easy enough though. We've gotten through lava enough before. Alright, give me the arm, close that down. Okay. Now. Things fine right there, right? Interesting. Why is there a steering wheel here? Can't they just make a hydrant? Here we go. Oops, oh, 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 oh. Here, I'll fuse it to my shield. There we go, fuse. Oh, unless these are going in a totally different direction. Let's see. I'm probably just gonna make a bridge. I feel like making a bridge is probably the easiest way to go about this. Couple more. Okay. Uh, or maybe just because the shield broke, let me just pick up the hydrant by itself. It's probably easier. Whoops. Another one. Oh yeah, okay. Attach it. And then attach it. And then at the very end, I'll put this one. And then I'll move this all the way over. And I'll get my rocket shield out. Here we go. And that should be close enough to pull, right? Yeah, perfect. All right, right. And in fact, it seems like, oh no, I have to go another place. What's this? Wait, 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 wait. I can't just take it up here? I was thinking that was going to be the exit. Okay. Oh no, there's a treasure chest up here, that's why. Steering stick, alright. They really want me to steer something. Okay. I can't just push this thing through. 
Let's see. Because I see there's fans and stuff, but... And I obviously don't want it to fall. That also seems fine too, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, that worked. Alright, great. Next. It was probably not the right way to do that, but I did it. Alright, now this. Lifting this baby up. These are pulleys for the door. I just do this. Whoops, wrong thing. Delete. Recall. Move. Slide it. And wait for it to open the door up. Okay, there we are. Perfect. And then, unless I'm supposed to go a different way, but I feel like this should work, right? Yeah, perfect. All right, great. Easy. I think I did that one entirely wrong, but that is okay. We made it anyway. Woohoo! Down we go. <laughs> All right, I just got to make sure I catch it. Careful. Recall. Uh-oh. There we are. <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely did that entire sequence completely wrong. I know I did. I was probably not supposed to make a giant line vertical and then climb up the thing. I was probably supposed to make a boat for this thing. <laughs> but you know what? That's the beauty of Tears of the Kingdom. You can solve these puzzles however you want to solve them. And that just happened to work for me, so I'm fine. Alright. Here we go. There we are. Plug that baby in. One more. Fantastic. One more left, Link. The body for my spirit is nearly complete. Beautiful. Again, what a cool idea for a spirit temple, man. I love that they did this. Honestly, I've enjoyed every dungeon. I think I stand by what I said on stream yesterday that my favorite is still Gerudo. And then I would probably say Rito. And then I would probably say Fire Temple and Zora. But that's no slight to the Zora Temple because I actually really enjoyed that Water Temple. We got a, a bunch of Bokoblins over here. Let's kill them. You guys want to die today? Come uh oh. <laughs> that's what I get. Alright, here we go. Come here, buddies. I'm gonna kill ya! Come here! Your spirits will rest at the spirit temple. Here you go. You will die. You will die. You will die today. Sorry, dear Bokoblins. You will die. Alright, a little more. Boom, boom, boom. Come on. Let me end your life quickly. It'll be painless. Boom! Alright. Boss Bacoblin Fang. We got that. Lots of good stuff. Pick up the Zonite. Pick up another one of these. 
Silver Boss Boko Boomerang. Perfect. All right. Yeah, grab one of those as well. I guess I could pick up a wooden stick. Sturdy wooden stick. I could attach something to that too. Hold on. Equip. Materials. What do I got? Put a Lizaphos horn on there. Make it useful. All right. Look at that. Lots of weapons. Very, very good. And the last one is up here. Okay. I should probably eat some gloom food. There we go. Lovely. Three more of those. And then boost my speed up. Fantastic! All right. Very good. A little more. The Right Arm Depot. What's in the clue to depths? All right, I'm ready. How am I gonna cheese this one? <laughs> okay. Boom, boom. Oh, and this is like a track that'll take it up there? Okay. A little conveyor belt. Easy enough. Okay. They have little wheels and things like that. We got a little roller coaster going on in here. Whoa. Okay, what's this? even where to start with this. Something to ascend. I think I might just rocket this baby up again. Or let's see, how high is this thing? Oops. Because I don't think it's going to be high enough to cheese this one. I think it's going to be too low. Yeah, it's too low. It's too low. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Ah, uh, hold this down. Stop. Let's put another rocket on it. I guess I could just use a balloon instead of using a rocket. The rocket's already out, I guess, so... Rocket it is, but... Here we go. Okay, now it'll definitely be high enough... ...to recall. Recall ability. Where did it go? Right here? Whoa, 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 whoa. Shoot, no, that's not gonna work, I don't think. Maybe I make a balloon? Obviously, this is what leads it out of there. But this is powered up, so maybe... Or I make a chain that leads it up there? Ah, balloon will do. Flame emitter. Here we go.
Yeah, there we go. There we are. Okay, perfect. Grab this. Great. I definitely could have done that instead of the rocket. <laughs> All right, now we have to get it back over there. That'll be easy enough. I can either walk it down. Oh, 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 lots of bomb flowers. This is useful. Give me those, please. I'm going to need those for Ganondorf. Thank you. Is that water? Oh, it is. Okay, perfect. Whee! Send it on down the river. Here we go. Pick it up here. And we are good to go. Okay. Oh, I see two more bomb flowers. Wait, I want to grab them. One. And two. I love that it was highlighted. Okay. That was fun. I really enjoyed that. The Construct Factory. All right. Boom. Move this on up. Boom. All right, Minero. take that long at all. I thought it was going to take much longer. Bringing Mineru back to life as a construct. <laughs> Now the fun thing is, can I put this in my auto build? Can I build this robot whenever I want to build a robot? Thank you, Link. You're very welcome, Mineru. Now only one task remains. Okay. We must recover my secret stone. I'm on it. Let's go. It should be located here. Please, Link, let us go there together. Okay. You got it. The path will be very dangerous. Fortunately, this construct body you have built for me is hardly helpless. Okay. There is a platform nearby where we can explore its potential. Oh, more goodies? Oh, you can put giant... <laughs> you can put giant spiked balls on its arms or now something? Hurry, Link. We must recover my secret stone. All right, let's go. Am I supposed to hop on its back or something? Mineru's construct abilities. Link can ride Mineru's construct. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! This is cool! This might actually rival the Metal Gear that we built. Oh, this is really cool. All right.
The weapons here can draw forth the true power of the construct. Attach one to a hand and your power in combat will be magnified sevenfold. Uh -huh. Alright, we'll make stops at every armory. You can attach things to the hands or the back of Mineru's construct. The attached objects can augment the construct's movement or combat abilities. Awesome. Awesome! Okay, dismount. Let's put a spike ball on one arm. Here we go. Move that there. And then let's put... This right here. Fuse. Or, or wait a minute, wait, what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Do I have to pick that up while I'm on the construct? Let's go, okay. Oh, attached, here we go. Right hand, oh! Weird, so you don't even need to use Fuse. Left hand. Attach. Left hand. Whoa! And then attach back part. Oh, whoa! Okay! Let's go! Oh, this is awesome! This is seriously so cool! <laughs> Get out of here! BAM! <laughs> Boom! Uh-oh, these guys are doing a lot of damage though, wait a minute. Oh, it's because there's a silver one. Well, here, hold on, let me get off, let me get off, let me get off. Dismount. Dismount, dismount. I got you, buddy. Don't worry about it, Construct. Boom, 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 boom. Take some of this. Because then I can just fuse stuff later on. Alright, here we go. A little more. Give me the horns. Very good. The horns, the guts. Beautiful. Let's go. Yeah, I feel like I'd be better off with different items that I'm getting from different enemies on the field instead of using the regular spike ball. Like, let's see. Hold on. Attach. Can I fuse over it? Hold on. Dismount. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bam, bam, bam! Get out of here, get out of here! Because now I, I wish I didn't attach the iron ball. If I can't defuse them, that would stink. Because then I could just put on like a lizard bolt horn or something. Or something that I know is going to do a lot of damage, and we're good. The construct will be super powerful. Let's see, what are we at right now? This is about to break. Let's go after this thing. Boom. One of these two. There we go. One of these horns. They got the Lysophos. Beautiful. They got this guy as well. Oh, I love that he fights alongside me. That's great. Okay. Gnarled thick stick. Let's attach. Uh, let's see. Let's attach. What are we going to attach to this thing? one of these to the thick stick so, all right we are good come on buddy off we go you could put a rocket on its back that'll probably get us over there quickly yes okay should be easy enough. Or actually, hold on. Attach to back. Here we go. 
And then let's see. Back part. Whoops. Oh, I should have put it sideways. I screwed up. I screwed up. I screwed up. That's okay. We're going to fight these guys anyway. We're making our way down. I'm not too worried. Here we go. Dismount. Take him out. Boom. Boom. Okay, where's this one? Another one? Yeah, I just, I love that, you know, normally you have the sages with you in the temples, and they have the unique abilities, and this time the sage is literally your robot buddy. It's just cool. All right. Here we go. A little bit more. Zonite bat. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. I also wonder if you could do this temple before the other temples. I bet you probably can. And then that would be interesting to have the construct with you in all the other ones. The only thing is, how would you even know to get here in the first place? That's the only other thing. Destroy fused material. Pick these up. I accidentally picked that up. I didn't want to pick it up. Okay, perfect. Let's go. Got another depot down here. Yeah, I really should have attached the rocket myself. But that's okay. Making our way downtown. Now let's see, what's at this one? Another rocket. A cannon. Oh, cannon's useful. All right, let's. Nope, let's not dismount. Let's attach a cannon to the right hand. Let's attach a beam emitter to the left hand. Let's attach a rocket to the back part. Okay. And then let's get the heck out of here. Oh, cool! Cool! All right, let's see. How? Oh, we are going quite a ways away. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Here, I should probably heal. Boom. Eat some of this as well. Here, come on over here, Mr. Bokoblin. Bam! It's gonna give me another one of those Lizaphos horns that I like. These eyeballs, always useful. Got a royal shield. Actually, dismount real quick. Dismount, 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 dismount. Get another one of these. Get both of these. <laughs> Here we go. A little more. Fantastic. Helps that we have all the sages with us, too. Boom. All right. Fantastic. Grab this. Get some extra zonite. Ooh. All right. A little more. Fantastic. All right. Let's keep going. We're making our way through here. Can I really not attach the rocket sideways? Hmm, okay. Let's just keep walking. 
Got a bunch of Horblins. There we go. I don't want to use up all this glow stuff, but... There we go. Make our way through. We're progressing nicely, at least. Back part. All right, we can rock it now. Very good. You can only use it once, though, unfortunately. We have a Hinox. I definitely feel like I've killed this exact one before. But we'll kill it again and get more Zonite. Because I think I've... Yeah, yeah, I definitely did. See, defeated. Oh, cool! You can aim your bow and arrow while you're on the back? That's neat! Bam! Oh, that's cool. That is really, really cool. Boom! Oh, I hope I can take this out of the depths. This would be sick to just walk around with this giant robot. Boom! A little more. Beam it right in the eyeball. Let's go. Come on. Where are you going, buddy? Come on. Oh, he's trying to attack me. Boom! How is that not hurt? I'm literally giving him LASIK eye surgery, and he's not budging. All right, here we go. Take the royal bow. Get the Hinox horn. All right, we're good, we're good, we're good. Back part, I don't have a rocket, so we're just gonna have to keep walking. But that was wild. I was literally shooting the laser directly into his eyeball. Chad is saying the arms on that thing look like the arms game from 2017. It totally does. It does look like something out of arms. Like the thing that Dr. Coyle makes in the story mode. That's exactly what this robot looks like. I love that you can collect stuff on its back too. That's so good. Yeah, I feel like they're going to have to let you use this outside of here now. All right, what's at this depot? Looks like we're halfway there. Do, 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 uh -huh. We are close to the secret stone. Draw forth the hidden power in this construct and press on. Okay, or I guess I can attach this, right? Attach. Fan to back part. Maybe I, maybe I do double cannons? Honestly, yeah, let's just do that. All right, back part. Fly on through. Oh, this is all exploding too. Here we go. Boom. This is gonna be super useful for mining too. I know we already have Unobo, but still. Just stand in right here. All right. What other mini boss are we gonna fight? Here we go. Back part. Oh, yeah. See, look at this. All this Zonite. This is gonna be nice. Easy, easy way to mine. Okay. A little more. Two. Three. Four. Okay. Get some Zonite. It's weird that some of it didn't give me any, though. I guess let's just keep pressing on. Oh, I must have known that was a Zonite output, though, because I put a little thing on it on my map with the treasure chest. So, yeah, I must have been here before then. All right, we got another one. <laughs> Blow them all up! 
Boom! <laughs> Here they come! I'm gonna dismount because it's definitely gonna be easier to just fight these guys alone. We're actually, wait, that part, I could just push on through them, right? Yeah, here we go. Alright, we're getting close. This construct cannot climb a sheer face cliff. Alright, you got it. Let's attach a rocket up here. Here we go. There's more rockets on the ground, too. Just in case you accidentally waste them on something else. Oh, oops, 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 oops. I have to put it on the back piece then. Okay. Or if you do what I did before. Attach on the back part. Okay. Here we go. Whee! There we are. Spirit Temple. The Vessel of Spirit's Resting Place. Okay. We made it. It's a long road, but we did it. Once again, what a cool idea for a spirit temple. Alright. I can teleport here now. Oh! Okay, off we go. Looks like a coliseum, doesn't it? probably get oh yeah yeah there's gonna totally be a boss fight i'm sure it's gonna be another robot you're probably gonna have to do rock'em sock'em robots and fight another construct oh yeah and you've got different weapons and stuff dude yeah okay a fight's definitely coming up right hand attach spike iron ball let's attach Spike Iron Ball in the back part for some defense. Oh, this is gonna be cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're like, no, 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 boss time. What's it gonna look like, though? Oh, cage match? really does feel like you're gonna enter an arms fight, doesn't it? Okay. That construct. I made it long ago. And now we gotta fight it. But the glow. It must be under the control of something monstrous. This is cool, man. The seized construct. The scourge of the spirit temple. All right. If the Demon King has turned my creation into his pawn, we must defeat it. Sure. We can do this together, Link. All right, let's go. Boom. Let's go. We have to stop that Boom. construct. Send him flying back. Let's go. Come on, hit him. That oh, works. cool. Cool. I love this. Whoa. Uh oh. Careful. Careful. Hold him back. Come on. Come on. Push him back. Smack him into the wall. Come on. Come on. Smack him into the wall. Come on. There we go, there we go. We got this, we got this. Come on, Minero. Bam! <laughs> this is great. I'm glad I kept that cannon. That is incredibly helpful. And the whole ground is covered in gloom, so you can't even do anything else. A little more, a little more, come on. Come on. There we go, there we go, there we go. Uh oh, hold on. I gotta reattach something. That's not good. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Careful, knock it out. There we go. Smack it. Very good. Halfway dead. I'm surprised it's not shooting laser beams at me or something. 
Whoa. Oh, yeah. Literally. <laughs> yeah, what's the name of the thing that Dr. Coyle makes in arms? That, like, flies into the arena and then it attaches. Oh, and this one's got a rocket now. Okay. And my cannon's gone. All right, let's attach this. Okay. If I drop a Zonai device, can I attach it? Let's see. Attach. Right hand. Whoa, 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 whoa. careful. Hold on. Attach. Right hand. Can it? Yes, here we go. Bam! Come on, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Boom! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Smack him! Smack him, come on! <laughs> there we go! Bam! 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 Get out of here! Boom! The music is great in this fight, too! Well, careful, 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 careful! There we are! Boom! Bam! Bam! Come on! I have the power! No, no, no. Oh, careful, careful, careful. Knock it out, knock it out, knock it out! Oh my gosh. Do I have the target to shoot the cannon? Don't get thrown off by how fast it moves. Just wait until it stops, then attack. Okay. There we go. Two. Three. A little more. Here we go. One. Oh, almost, almost, almost. One. Two. Come on, come on, knock it back. Come on. One more extra attack. Come on, a little more, a little more, a little more, a little more. No, stay there, stay there. Come on, a little more. Boom. Two. Three. A little more, come on. We got him, we got him. <laughs> what a cool fight! Oh, this whole temple rules! Not just the fight, like the lead up to building the robots, everything. Great work, Nintendo. This game, it just continues to impress me. I don't know how they keep doing it. Here we go. BC Kings in my uh, in my chat just said, "Congrats on beating Arms 2." <laughs> Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Yeah, Headlock was the name of the thing I was thinking of. <laughs> Stealth agrees. I see Stealth in the chat saying this really was like Arms. <laughs> and then Gold Member in my chat said the boss also kind of reminds me a little bit of Coloctos from Skyward Sword, where you pick up his weapon and then you're taking out his other arms. That fight ruled. The Coloctos fight's probably one of my all-time favorite Zelda battles. I love that. That whole temple is great. The ancient cistern's fantastic. Honestly, Skyward Sword does not get enough love. Skyward Sword is a fantastic game. And I never actually beat the HD version that came out on Switch. I started streaming it, and then I think something else came out, and we never ended up finishing it. But I really do love Skyward Sword. Maybe I'll go back and beat that now that we're uh, coming close to the end of Tears of the Kingdom. All right. Let's get the stone. Let's see. There's Minero. Now, why is she the only one without a mask on? All the other masks, uh, sages from the past had masks on. It's totally got to be that we can summon the construct whenever we want, right? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Now give me the power. Come on. I do love Minero's design, too. Asked me to aid you, Link. I am the Sage of Spirit and one of the Zonai. The fifth Sage. I 
I love the grand reveal of her face too, as if we didn't see her in all the flashbacks. I am glad to. But meet I'm you. happy to see you face to face. I must thank you. It is because of you that we have recovered my secret stone. Originally, my intent was to awaken when you first found the Porapad. Mm. Then to guide you to my construct and assist you on your journey. I had not anticipated a battle with that same construct. You have proven quite adept, and I am grateful for all your efforts. You're very welcome. Link, here. Oh! I never even realized! Obviously, there's a ring on every hand for the sages. Sage She's gonna be the middle figure ring. Power unto you. I believe All right. it will serve you well. Yep, there it is. Hers is the biggest one, too. With this power I've given, a deep bond has been forged between us. And from this point forward, my spirit will reside within that construct. That's good! I you however I can. Good! I love that I, I can summon it whenever now. That's fantastic. Oh, I love it. I am the one who lived in the distant past in the age of Hyrule's founding. Circumstances forced me to forsake my body and become a being of pure spirit. Long have I slumbered within Zelda's Purapad in order to share what I knew when it passed into your hands. I apologize our meeting has been so long delayed. The Demon King's interference is to blame. Nevertheless, I ask for your pardon. Well, now, on to the topic at hand. In my own age, the distant past from your perspective, Zelda awakened as the Sage of Time and appeared before us. What I must relate to you is a tragedy that occurred in Hyrule's history. At its crux was Zelda, who held a secret stone and traversed time. Uh -huh. She made a momentous decision in those days gone by, and I would have you know of the resolve she poured into that blade, the Master Sword. Long ago, my people known as the Zonai came down from the heavens to the surface of the world. It was said they were descendants of gods. They bore treasures from these same gods, secret stones capable of amplifying the abilities of those who possessed them. Using the knowledge of the Zonai, my younger brother Raru became a great leader. He met a young woman named Sonya, and they would wed. Raru gifted Sonya one of the secret stones. Together, they sought to establish their kingdom. I'm still s- Oh wait, oh wait. This is how the kingdom of Hyrule, with Raru and Sonya as its first king and queen, came to be. The future looked bright. However, tragedy suddenly <laughs> struck. A man of great evil emerged from the desert. Ganondorf. The leader of the Gerudo, Ganondorf, killed Queen Sonya and stole her secret stone. Using the secret stone, Ganondorf transformed into the Demon King. He then created swarms of monsters and attacked. Hyrule rose up to face these threats. But the evil power driving the monsters forward was staggering. The defenders were on the brink of defeat. Raru then came up with a plan to turn the tide of the war. He entrusted secret stones to warriors with exceptional abilities. They became sages and united in an effort to finally defeat the Demon King. Raru and the sages I love that they have the all the ancient weapons too. Should have been able to stop him. You can see the Zora However, spear and the Rito bow. The Demon King's power had grown far beyond anything we could have imagined. 
I was unable to withstand his strength. Our fight appeared all but lost. And there's Zelda, even. And then... The Gerudo shield, nice touch. himself to one final act. He must do it! <laughs> Just chucking their weapons at him! <laughs> Come on, Zelda! Oh, cool! Oh! And now, Raru. That was sick! That pride will be your downfall, Ganondorf! <laughs> that was awesome! Yo! And there's the moment right there. If I go down, I'm taking you with me. <laughs> oh, it caught the swirl from the shrine, too. Don't be so smug. I know exactly what it will cost me. Rauru's Raru. got faith! <laughs> oh, that is so cool. Thousands of years will pass on the brink of an eye. You will delay the inevitable. You're wrong. Years from now, someone will appear with the sword that seals the That's darkness. right! That's me! A swordsman with the power to defeat you. Link. Remember. Yo, remember the name Link! <laughs> oh gosh! And it plays the classic Zelda theme too as oh man. trailer we ever saw for this game back when it was just Breath of the Wild 2 was that shot with the swirl. Uh -huh. You know this tragedy is the imprisoning war. And though it took all we were able to give, we did succeed in imprisoning the Demon King. I was wounded in the process and my body was soon to expire. Oh. That is when Zelda came to me bearing a decayed and broken sword. You will recall how the Master Sword vanished from your hand at the Temple of Time. From there, it traveled into the distant past, appearing in Zelda's hands. And now you hold it once again. Sure do. Pulled it right out of our dragon girlfriend's head. <laughs> You're saying that sword traveled through time the same way you did? Yes, but more importantly, in my original time, the Demon King was vulnerable to even the smallest piece of this sword. Even someone like him has vulnerabilities. Hmm. Then, what exactly are you suggesting we do with the sword? Over time, the Master Sword is able to absorb sacred power. <sighs> it can heal itself. And, and they're playing the Skyward Sword music? Curious. If we are able to empower da -da 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 the key to defeating the Demon King. But it could take centuries for that sword to grow strong enough. The power the Demon King wields. I do not see how this can be done. It would be impossible for you to provide it with sacred power for so long. I can think of one way. That's right, 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 right. You mean... Yes, I can do it. I have to. I've told you, that act is forbidden. For a very good reason. It would mean throwing yourself away. 
be able to change back. The moment I just love how they're mixing the themes. It's so good. I knew this was why I came to this era. The Skyward Sword themes and the Breath of the Wild themes and the Tears of the Kingdom ones and the original Legend of Zelda theme and the way they just fuse is so excellent. I want to excellent. restore the Master Sword and deliver it to Link. She's like, look, I can't I stop you. You really have made up your mind. But you know, like, she can't stay a dragon. Very well, then. As a Zonai, I bear my share of blame for these events. So I, too, will devote myself to this goal and to this hero of yours. For the Swordsman Link, I will do everything I can. Even if my body should perish... I will still be with you in spirit. I got so many questions. I got so many questions about the lore of all the Zelda games and what's going to happen in this one. We laid the groundwork for guiding you in the distant future. Well, then. Before the glooms of uh, affliction took my life, I became a spirit and entered the Purapad. And then Zelda did what she felt she must and began the forbidden process. She believed you used the Master Sword to defeat the Demon King and restore peace to Hyrule. Uh -huh. You already have in hand the hope that Zelda left to you. The sword that seals the darkness. The Master Sword. Well, then. Go now, Link. With the sword of hope that Zelda left to you, you will surely smite Demon King Ganondorf. Here we go. Vow of Mineru, Sage of Spirit, proof of the Vow of Mineru. Use it to summon or dismiss the construct containing Mineru's spirit. My big question still is that we, you can hear Fi's theme. So obviously Skyward Sword is on this timeline, and we know that Breath of the Wild is the very, 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 very end of the Zelda timeline, that it was the latest game in the series. We know that. And this is the sequel to that game. However, there are things here that lead me to believe that it's like, it's at the end of a convergence of the three. Because the Koroks exist in this world, and those were obviously in Wind Waker, but then they talk of the Imprisoning War, and obviously there was talk of the Imprisoning War in the original games, but obviously it was a different Imprisoning War, but then you wonder if maybe the legends were passed around differently. But then thinking about it, right, the end of Skyward Sword is Link and Zelda coming down to Earth and forming Hyrule. And you it's implied at the end of that game that Link and Zelda are the first king and queen of Hyrule. But I guess, like, they were teenagers. They can't just all of a sudden form some kingdom. Like, that's going to take work. That's going to take generations to actually build a kingdom. Rome wasn't built in a day. So now I'm wondering if Sonya is the daughter or granddaughter or something of the original Zelda and the original Link. And that this Zelda, when she goes back in time, because we know that this, our Zelda, in, in Tears of the Kingdom, Breath of the Wild, our Zelda is a descendant of Sonya. We know that. Sonya and Rauru, we know this. And the Zonai, they say the Zonai came down from the heavens, and the whole thing in Skyward Sword was there was the goddess Hylia, who sent them up into the sky. So then did Hylia know about the Zonai? And then after we beat the Imprisoned, and after we beat the Mize, were the Zonai like, we're cool to come down to Earth now. And that's why they came down, and then Rauru got with Sonya, and that's how we get all of this. And, and then again, he's like thousands of years will go by like this. So I'm wondering if then this Ganondorf is the very, 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 very first Ganondorf. And that years passed and Hyrule went on 
and then we got the Ganondorf from Ocarina of Time, and then things split. I'm very curious. Guidance from ages past complete. I gotta know how this game ends. Trail of the Master Sword, okay. Oh, oh, complete. Okay, right, because we already have the Master Sword, right. The time is at hand. Okay. So now we gotta go talk to Pura, naturally. Yes. The Demon King is surely building his power somewhere in the world. All right, well, let's go. Swore my pledge to you. We got the character profiles, Mineru. This is great. Everybody's character profiles. What's up with the little steward over here? I need more materials. My progress was interrupted when the servant of the Demon King occupied the Spirit Temple. But your efforts have allowed me to return to my duty. I offer you my deepest thanks. This is one of the fruits of my excavation. Take it with gratitude. Oh, he can make the ancient blades. I previously informed you that Mineru tasked me with excavating materials. One was Zonite. I would ask that you offer me all you can to spare. I can offer you one ancient blade for every 50 pieces. That's pretty good. Okay. I don't have nearly enough Zonite to do that right now, though. I'm ready to produce. Smithing construct. Okay. Special weapons. Oh! Long swords, spears. Oh, this is good. This definitely feels like the lead up to the end, then. If they're like, look, we're giving you ancient blades and all the Zonite swords. Okay. Well, hold on. Let's go to Pura. I will mark this location. I'll remember to come back to the Spirit Temple then. Do a little bit of grinding for materials. All right. Off we go. Back to Lookout Landing. Dude! We are so close to the end now. I can taste it. Man, oh man, oh man. All right. By the way, you can get those for free at the Zonite Forge Island. They respawn every blood moon. Ooh. How many shrines have you done? 114. So a lot of them. All right, let's go talk to Pura. Excuse me. Well, did you find anything out about the fifth sage? We already got her. She's a robot. We're good. What? You found the sage of spirit? Mineru? This, this is uh -huh. incredible. That means we have the five sages. Fantastic work, Link. I can't believe this is actually one of the sages who faced off against the demon king alongside Princess Zelda. And now we have news about the princess. There's some relief in that, at least. So, in the ancient past, Princess Zelda worked to restore the decayed Master Sword and return it to your hand, trusting that you would defeat the Demon King in the present day. She did so much all on her own. Well, I'm ready to save her. What? The Master Sword was restored, you say. I also still, I was going to say this during the cutscene, there is absolutely positively no way Zelda stays a dragon. Like, I saw a lot of people in the comments of my playthrough video that I uploaded when I was reacting to pulling the sword out and then Zelda turning into a dragon where I was super hype. And people were like, how dare Roger get hype in this moment? Zelda sacrificed everything. Like, and now she's stuck as a dragon. I'm like, BS, bro. There's no way... That by the end of the game, Zelda doesn't turn back to normal. To me, I was not remotely concerned for Zelda in that moment. I was washed around in the hype of that moment. I was all caught up in the hype of like being on a dragon Zelda yanking the Master Sword out of her head. That was way cooler to me. So to me, like her sacrificing herself and being a dragon, I'm like, yeah, I understand. For Zelda, that was a painful thing to do. And obviously it was a huge sacrifice. But I know Link, I know we're gonna have to eventually get her back one day. So, for the people who are getting mad at me that I was hype in that moment, go play a Zelda game. Go play literally every Zelda game in the history of Legend of Zelda games in which we save Zelda. There is literally no chance, no chance that Zelda doesn't go back to normal by the end of the game. No chance, zero percent chance, zero. All right, it was found on the head of a white dragon of all places? That's hard to believe. It's not hard to believe. We saw she turned into a dragon. However, this was Princess Zelda's wish, one she believed in so strongly that she gave her life to see it through for us. 
thank you for finding the sword, Link. I have to say, <laughs> you really don't look quite yourself unless you got the Master Sword at your side. Check it. Now then, it seems you have all you need. You're prepared to face our enemy. Find the fifth sage complete. Crisis at Hyrule Castle complete. Hmm. We need to determine where the Demon King is lurking. It seems unlikely he'd still be in Hyrule Castle. And I can't think of any place he'd be in the surface, which must mean huh? that he's in the depths. Well, wouldn't you say there's a high probability he's in the depths? Mm -hmm. Do what you think is best, of course, but my suggestion is to ask Josha for any info she might have. She's enthusiastic about investigating the depths, so I'm sure she'd be happy to help yeah. out. Link, the rest is up to you. Destroy Ganondorf is the next main quest. Well, this is, I mean, obviously that's the perfect place to stop. Next time, live on YouTube, the finale of Roger's Base Plays Tears of the Kingdom for the first time. Next time, we destroy the Demon King Ganondorf.